Hey, hey, Warrior Saints, Father Chris here, and welcome to the Way of the Warrior Saint, where we are striving to become strong Christian men by living a crucifixional life. You know, as a proud Christian organization, the Warrior Saints, all of us here at the Warrior Saints movement, worship only God, and we send all of our efforts in life to worship, serve, and glorify only our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. There are times, however, in life when certain men and women do things that are in a very real sense crucifixional and it's inspiring for us and it becomes something that allows us an opportunity to to learn from and perhaps even to grow from. One such case is Kobe Bryant. Like by now I'm sure everybody knows, the whole world knows that the NBA legend, the Lakers legend Kobe Bryant and his beautiful daughter Gianna along with seven other people died earlier this week in a tragic helicopter accident. The world has totally been mourning. Like it's it's fascinating to me how Kobe's life has dominated the headlines for the last few days, um, and all of his major accomplishments and all of his success. And the guy was just unbelievable. He, as you know, he won the NBA title five times. He won the NBA MVP in 2008. He was the Finals MVP twice. He won two gold medals. And interestingly enough, after his career was done, in which he scored 81 points in one game, which was second most all-time, and his final game was 60 points, which was the most all-time in the last game. After his career, he went on to win an Academy Award for a documentary that he produced. I mean, I'm still tripping about it. The guy's life was ahead of him. It was all laid out so he could see almost where he was going, and it was, it was really impressive to me. I know that the guy had issues, as we all do. We're all sinners. But his life, in many respects, I think could be, it could be an image for us of something I want to talk to today about relentlessness. In our lives, there are so many goals and so many things that we want to accomplish, things that we want to make happen. And we believe in our hearts that I really desire that. And yet sometimes we find, maybe if you're like me, very often we find that those dreams and those goals and those desires are never accomplished. They're never fulfilled. And the question is because are we, are we able and capable? Or perhaps it's because, I don't know, maybe we're not relentless enough. And he could barely make it to the free throw line. Kobe had something in him that was unbelievable, the spirit of relentlessness. Something that Tim Grover, one of his trainers, in his book Relentless calls a cleaner. If you really want to know what it means to be a cleaner, I think you should read Grover's book Relentless. It's excellent. I don't think Kobe Bryant wanted anything less than complete domination all the time. He wanted to win every game, every day, every single season he wanted to walk out as an NBA champion. This, this relentlessness, this desire to find the, the greatness that he strived after led him to have such a legendary career. You're not gonna get into the head of Kobe Bryant. And this ferocity, I think is the word I'd like to use, the ferocious nature that Kobe had was something that I think I want all of us to incorporate in our lives. I wanna tell you this. The Warrior Saints, we are trying so hard to be relentless, to be ferocious. We hope that you join us on the way of the Warrior Saint as we do an attempt to become ferocious in our own lives, to become relentless in our own lives. We really would love for you to join us on the way of the Warrior Saint. It's pretty easy, it's pretty cheap, it's pretty awesome, pretty fun. Click the link below and we will see you on the way of the Warrior Saint.